Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shin the Vol Ages Hollywood Show now here, but to give you another Injustice 2 video. In this video, we talk about patch 1.4, which got released on May 30th, sometime between 6 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So, relive the Miskara, relive the, relive the Wonder Woman movie experience with Injustice 2. As you know, the movie is coming out tomorrow. Two new Wonder Woman cards are available based on the just-released Wonder Woman movie, the silver-tier Amazon Wonder Woman and gold-tier Mythic Wonder Woman. Each new Wonder Woman version has a full set of gear to earn as well. Earn the silver Amazon Wonder Woman movie card by attacking and completing your daily objective. So I wonder if this means just by completing battles if you get fragments, or if you do arena battles you can get fragments. And for those of you who just can't wait, Mythic Wonder Woman is also available immediately in the Injustice 2 store, which means you can probably buy it for $44.99, and then it will also be a challenge coming up on Friday. So, new heroes and villains, Supergirl and two versions of Poison Ivy will be added in Update 1.4. Powered Supergirl and Entangling Poison Ivy will be available as Challenge Mode Rewards. And Flora Poison Ivy can be found in the Premium Chest, which we will be checking out momentarily. So, Update 1.4 introduces a number of fixes to make the overall player experience more enjoyable. Hopefully, drastically reducing the amount of time it takes to do Arena, because it literally takes you a minute just to get back to the loading screen, so that would be a nice change. So, improvements to all super moves. Hopefully, they take out the super move thing and actually balance the damage. So, when you're fighting guys in Chapter 4, Heroic and above, they just don't one-shot you. New premium chests introduced. Updated opponent difficulty levels in campaign mode. Support for Asian languages, overall polish, and bug fixes. So let's go into Injustice 2 and check out what they actually changed in the update. Alright, so now we're going into Injustice 2 and right away you can see the initializing game is taking longer than in patch 1.3. So another realm, get your shit together and get more than one developer working on the game for God's sakes. They're just increasing loading times everywhere. So, um, they did finally reward the premium currency rewards because... As you guys know, it wasn't working. Now, obviously, it's for eight days. Obviously, the premium currency pack has been available since patch 1.3, which has been available a lot longer than eight days. Trust me on that. So, that is definitely wrong. So, we got 120 gems for that. I'm not really sure. It definitely seems wrong. Unless it's in the inbox. So, they're tuned into the Watchtower stream. So, it looks like they finally enabled Game Center achievements, which is why there's a bunch of stuff involved for that. So... There is a premium hero chest for 250 gems. So it contains one random hero with enhanced chance of 3 star gold characters and a high chance of 3 star gold dead shot. So we're going to open up 10 of those for the YouTube community. But first we're going to check out the roster as our achievements from Game Center are loading. And it looks like they have again modified the threat level slightly as Batman did gain a little bit more threat. Emerald Green Lantern has even more. So... Let's go to the back of the list. So here we can see Mythic Wonder Woman for the first time. Passive ability. With each enemy she defeats, Wonder Woman gains an attack boost. She can also reflect damage back on the attacker with her bracelet block. So as you can see, absorb 10% of the opponent's attack for 5 seconds when defeating them. Chop Slide has damage and armor piercing. And uh, bracelet block is kind of like a super block. It's just another version of that. So... Nothing really fancy there. I don't see the card being super impressive. There is Powered Supergirl that is also a gold Super card. Girl. And Crickle hits on her most basic task grant card the ability, the chance to use her walking laser ability for no power cost. So 10% chance to adjust power cost by 100% on basic jump, rush, range, and crouch crit attack for ability 1. So that does make having crit abilities very good. However... If the walking laser is anything like Armored Superman's dot ability, you're not going to be impressed by it. Making it no cost is not a way to fix a busted skill. That's garbage. Kind of like Green Lantern's saw blades as well. Garbage. So, Flora Poison Ivy. Ivy manipulates plants within her abilities to reduce the opponent's mobility and advanced attacks while inflicting poison damage over time. So ability 2 and 3 disable the opponent, the victim's rush, evade, range, and jump attacks while dealing extra damage for 4 seconds. So that's pretty significant. If it goes up to 9 seconds, especially when you're using uh, Silver Doctor Fate, you're going to basically have it up all the time. So it has great synergy with Doctor Fate. And even ability 3 costing 5 or 6 at the 2 minute mark or less is actually pretty powerful. 
So I'm really curious to see that. I'm really also wondering why they have more armor piercing abilities. So Amazon Wonder Woman Wonder is a two-star silver. Diana grants increased health for female combatants whether she joins them in battle or not. She can also reflect damage back on the attacker with her bracelet block. So all female her heroes in your roster gain 1% health. And this is owned. It doesn't mean you have to use them. So all female characters will gain 1% health. So this is a really important card to have upgraded. And it will make cards like Harley Quinn, Supergirl, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman even more useful. And this Wonder Woman also has the bracelet block. So Warrior Wonder Queen Wonder Woman. Woman has the shield block. So very interesting there. So now we're going to go in the objectives. And the Wonder Woman event has started. When you complete five daily objectives, you receive free hero Amazon Wonder Woman hero shards. So you get four fragments. So the event lasts for limited time, so you better start fighting. So that's really interesting. So free power gem, stamina, and sim chips, as you can see, is the same result. It looks like they cleaned up the uh, amounts. So play the console in Justice 2 is still available. And uh, the arena still maxes out at 1,000 wins, so you can't get anything more by that. And it looks like they probably don't have Chapter 2 in the story mode. They also have not uh, upgraded the unlock heroes to like 20 or 21. So I'm really hoping that they actually give you a way to get more armored Superman fragments other than just achievements. As you can see, they haven't even done Chapter 5, 6, 7, 8 on Normal, or Heroic for that matter. Back in the soft launch they had in Heroic. So, Season Rewards in Arena. Let's check this out really quick and let's see. It looks like the store went down. So you get 360 gold fragments in Legendary. And you better believe my iOS account is going to get... 360 fragments but luckily as long as you place in the top looks like 4,000 Elite 4 I figured out was about top 7,000 you're going to get 360 fragments so as long as you hit to Elite 4 my Android account last season did get to Elite 4 by using 6 characters so that's no excuse why you guys cannot get it done so at Elite 3 you get 160 fragments good for a 3 star Wonder Woman so if you get 360 fragments you have a 4 star Wonder Woman for free. So very important to be pushing this season. I expect a lot of gemming. I also expect LQ Persona to continue to manipulate the leaderboards and blowing a lot of money. So in order to actually get fragments, you have to get into Elite 1. Get into Elite 1, I think you got to get into like top 20 or 30,000, which is actually not very hard. Anybody can do it, but it's going to put more emphasis on Arena. And even though I'm going to be on vacation as of Friday... I may not be live streaming, but I'll definitely be farming this event, and I will be doing a unlocking video on that car. So we're going to go look at operations, and you can see that the max level is still 20, and I'm pretty sure that nothing has changed out of that. So we're going to look in the resource missions, and obviously they haven't changed anything with that. So nothing to do there. So we're going to look at the story mode. And you can see that even with this update, Chapter 2 is not available yet. So that really sucks. So we're going to go into the store. And we're going to start off by opening 10 hero chests. And then we're going to open up 10 premium hero chests. So we're going to be spending 4,000 gems doing this video. So we're going to open up 10 hero chests. So in the first hero chest, we receive... A silver Batman, that's unfortunate, 194 out of 300. So in the second hero chest, we receive... A silver Wonder Woman, very underwhelming so far. So in the third hero chest, we receive... A Harley Quinn, we've gotten all three basic cards, absolute shit. So in the fourth hero chest, we receive... A silver Bane. In the 5th hero chest, we receive a dead shot. So we're getting all garbage so far. In the 6th hero chest, we receive another dead shot. In the 7th hero chest, we receive a Superman. So far, we've gotten all garbage. 
From the eighth hero chest, we receive a Catwoman. In the ninth hero chest, we receive yet another dead shot. That's three out of ten. And in the tenth hero chest, we receive. A silver flash, so unfortunately we got no gold cards from this. Fuck you, Nether Row. So now we're going to go into the premium hero chest, as they call it. So it contains one random hero with enhanced chance of three-star gold characters. And let's see if this is true or if this is absolute bullshit. So in the first premium hero chest, we receive. Keep in mind, we've already gotten two dead shots, so one will give us an upgrade. We got a Dr. Fate, so we can get him up to four stars, so this episode is not worthless. So in the second premium chest, we receive a Harley Quinn. So far, this pack is absolute shit. So in the third premium chest, we receive a Wonder Woman. This is a piece of shit. So in the fourth premium chest, we receive a Superman. So, so far, their advertising is absolute bullshit. It kind of reminds me of the Elite Packs in MKX. So in the 5th hero chest, we receive a silver green arrow. We're going to open up another one. So in the 6th hero chest, premium hero chest, we receive a primal swap thing. So we can't even upgrade him to 4 stars. So out of like 3,000 gems, we've gotten one gold character. So in the 7th premium hero chest, we receive a silver Batman. That's the wrong one. Fuck you, another round. In the 8th premium hero chest, we receive another green arrow, putting us at 70 out of 160. So in the ninth hero chest, we receive a silver robin, fuck you nether realm. And in the final premium hero chest, we receive another green arrow. So let me tell you, these chests are absolute bullshit. There is no reason to buy the 250 premium hero chest and one gold card out of 4,000 gems. Give me a fucking break. Absolutely shit. Do not buy this shit with real money. So we're going to be promoting Dr. Fate for 10,000 credits. I am very happy about that at least. I think that's worth more than the primal swap thing that is absolutely worthless. So we're going to upgrade for 20,000 credits. And this is a huge upgrade because now abilities cost two less. And we can unlock another talent slot. Unfortunately, the health is still shit at 1%. That is a lot of damage over time. We're going to take it. Just because that is a lot. And Sonic Black Canary at 10,000 threats. So let's do a couple battles. Let's do some arena. Unfortunately, Arkham Knight Batman still eludes me 4,000 gems later. All right, so we're going to build a team. We're going to use Batman. We can actually use Green Lantern, too. Um, actually, I kind of want to use a person that costs three abilities, so let's use Wonder Woman. And let's have some fun with Dr. Fate. So we're going to do a couple fights. 12,000 threat now for Batman. In the world. Why do we get the same? Okay, this is weird. We got the same person twice, two times in the arena. That is weird. So we're not going to deal with a five-star Dr. Fate. Um, let's not deal with that. Let's not deal with a weak team. Okay, let's deal with this one. So Batman Special 1 costs 1. Wonder Woman Special 1 costs 1. Dr. Fate Special 1 costs 1. I'm going to show you guys the significance of a 4-star Dr. Fate within this video and why it's such a powerful upgrade. So we're going to start generating some power here real quick. And let's spam those 1-bar Special 1s. Again, again! I'm Batman. So Harambe is it. For the gods. Now there's a little bit of a cooldown between use of the special, so 
It's not completely you busted, but fight. it is really powerful because as soon as the cooldown is up, it doesn't Let matter. It you can just spam shield tosses all day long. And the only thing that's going to kill you is a super move. We haven't actually tested the damage of that, so let's actually put our A-team in and check that out. 4,250 arena points for that. But again, we're kind of just goofing around. I want to show off some super moves now. So let's see if we can be on the receiving end and take a super move. So let's throw in our A-team. Looks like we're actually getting stronger matchups. So that's kind of interesting. We'll take this one. I'm not really worried. So I kind of like that they are offering less, but I'm really baffled as to why we're getting multiple opponents with the same actual profile in the arena. So definitely want to get rid of Arkham Knight Batman as quickly as possible because his stun does a lot more damage. That's not going to get rid of him, but it's going to do some work. Perfect Scarecrow is in. Let's start working towards the super move. I also kind of find it funny that if you get the hammer with anybody, it'll stun them after you do the super move. That's a really interesting mechanic. So, Arkham Knight Batman is nowhere near. But I believe Deadshot has the most health, so let's get rid of him. Perfect Scarecrow comes in. We're going to go off the super move. Let's see how much damage this does. So 17,589. It looks like the opponent still does a lot of damage with super moves. Or at least you do. Down goes Marksman Deadshot, so it's still pretty easy to beat higher threat opponents. So let's take a quick trip into a heroic battle, and let's see if we can show off the mechanics in single player, and see if we can take a super move. I like that the rewards are really generous for the gold Wonder Woman, though, so Netherrealm did do a, a great job with that, and you get the character for free. So apparently we did that recently so we can't do it so let's go into chapter four this is a fight that used to be annoying because it had over 80,000 threat obviously we don't need green lantern it looks like it's still a lot of threat 82,000 but this is a really good example of a fight that cheats you out with super move so let's see if that continues to hold true because they did say that they tuned some things with heroic and super move let's see what they did to super moves in general it seemed like they did not fix them so Harambi is it. I have to be careful tagging out until he gets out. You definitely want to play defensive. That is not defensive yet. Big rocket on Gorilla Grunt. So that does get him out. Cyborg is in. Let's get in Scarecrow. Probably going to need a super move to take out Cyborg. Heavy shot at the beginning, though. So Grodd is back in. Let's just get rid of him. All right, so now he's at a super move. He actually blocked, so that stopped it. There's a super move. Let's see if the system is still cheated or not. Because I really find it unfair when the opponent uses a super move and just wipes you out instantly. I don't think that's very game compelling and nope they still did not fix it super moves are still busted in this game all right so the biggest threat is gone so unfortunately it looks like they did not fix the problem with super moves. we're gonna stun green lantern let's get emerald green lantern in who has like no health green lantern's back he does that that's fine if we can get up to seven bars, we can still win the fight. And that's the problem we actually have with this fight. Because of Emerald Green Lantern, the opponent generates way too much power. And getting a one star is very fortunate. So it looks like we're going to lose this fight this unless the opponent does something stupid like that. Sawblades are still absolute garbage in this game. So Green Lantern is not eliminated, but he is low. Beware my power! We have to just do that. That's not going to wipe them out. We have to block. 
stop where you are. The saw blade actually kills now. That's interesting. So it used to not do that, but yeah, as you can see, super moves in Injustice 2 are still busted, and they did nothing to fix them. So if you like this video showing major disappointment in patch 1.4, as well as some gameplay mechanics that are not positive to the game, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favor, check out my other Injustice 2 videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And who will be getting these Wonder Woman fragments? How long will they be around? And can you actually get a five-star character by the time the objectives are over with? Have a wonderful day, kids. Fuck you, Netherrealm. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe.